Point is Dogs here playing Ether Vapor Remaster. Moving on to scene four. Valley, using the standard fighter. All right, so we got a little bit of backup fire. You can see kind of flying around in the background. Doesn't really help a whole lot, but better than nothing. Activating our shield. Hey, it's a mini boss from level one. Just a little bit more firepower. Activate our shield. Just do a quick weave through those. Ah, only to get hit by one of those slow bullets. Big explosions. So the graphics in this game are a bit dated, but I think the gameplay is pretty solid. Hey, are you picking this up? My sensors show a large craft approaching and scanning on us. Looks like they brought out the big guns. It's been matching our flight path since we left the city. Don't tell me you didn't notice it. Whatever, the first thing to do is figure out how to hit it. Not even a thank you? Yeah, my guy's a jerk. Let's let's take out its weapons and engines, then jet out of here. We're faster. Why don't we just accelerate and leave it behind? And let it fire at our backs? No one fires at my back. You don't have to do this. Set this out if you want. Jerk. Alright, we're gonna target those areas of the ship. I like those this portion of the game where you kinda have the target and and scan around. Activating the shield. Alright, for these guys that come in, they'll do an initial burst so you have to dodge, which I didn't just do. Then they'll start shooting just straight at you. As long as you stay in the center, you're okay. Alright, more lock-ons. While these graphics are dated, I'm surprised they're able to do what they were do with such a small file size. This game's like 56 megabytes, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like they packed a lot in. Going for the engine. Alright, at this point I find just going around the edge of the screen to be usually your best shot. And then just use your lock on, just hold it down. Final hit. Whoa, that's a big explosion. Where are we? This is the transport route leading to the factory ward. It's the fastest route to the central processor. How do you know that? Warden, warden. Enemy targets acquired. Commencing attack. This enemy's first attack pattern is fairly straightforward and easy. As I get hit. You 
You haven't beaten me. Come on, bring it on. The pilot is a little girl? It's anime. Did not move quick enough. Oh my gosh. Need to activate my shields. Oh my goodness. Ah. I wish the shields would charge a little quicker. I'm just getting all kind of hit. I like this portion of the battle. Easy to dodge the lasers. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to lock on for this part. One thing about uh, this portion of, of this battle, or actually all of this final battle here, is that you can't go all the way down to the bottom of the screen because of the floor. And so a lot of times I'll be thinking I'll be able to dodge down, but I'm really stuck against the ground. So just keep an eye out for that. Oh boy. Alright, we should be able to finish him off here. Or her off, I should say. Oh man. I can't move. Move, damn it. Your ship is going critical. You have to eject immediately. You can't tell me what to do. You're the enemy. You're using a D2, aren't you? Eject now or your brain will be fried. It's exploding. Did she make it out? I couldn't tell. Even if she did, she wouldn't have been caught in the blast. Or she would have been caught in the blast. Well, what do you know? Even you have a soft spot for children. I'm pretty sure this guy is a child. So what is a D2? Two-sided dice. It's short for direct device. It's a micro-machine embedded in the brain that directly connects the pilot to the craft. Embedded in the brain? That's possible? It's no different to connecting an artificial arm or leg, only bigger. Wow, those Chaldeans really know their technology. The biggest problem is that the body is almost always rejects the implant. I thought the, on the only existed successful case was me. Cry. Alright. That ends scene four. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and join us next time for scene five.